It is called the Person of the Year. You may have noticed, right? Come on. Person. No. Person of the Year now means People of the Year. What are you, you guys? Hey pals, if you're interested in supporting the work that I'm doing here, you might want to head on over to Patreon and check out what I've got going on there. Thanks. Hey everybody. This week I was going to be looking at Pete Evans, the My Kitchen Rules celebrity chef to paleo, anti-vax, conspiracy theory, neo-Nazi, not too sure. He's taken an interesting turn. However, in what appears to be damage control, all of his videos are no longer on the internet, so it's very difficult to find something to react to. And so we go to our good old favorite Ben Shapiro. And what is he angry at this week? Why, just Time Magazine. Time Magazine decided on his person of the year. It is called the person of the year. You may have noticed, right? Person of the year. Person, last I checked, was singular. Now, I know that we use singular and plural alternatively these days. I know that you are allowed as as an individual human to say that your pronouns are they and them which is insane in and of itself. So here he is again on the horse bashing trans people because of course he is, he's Ben Shapiro, he loves it. On this specific point, Thought Slime has already put out a great video addressing both this issue and Ben Shapiro in particular. Here's just a taste. Even that man or that woman and shalt stone them with stones until they die. You know, it's the Bible because they're talking about doing some old timey torture stuff. Now you can't get much clearer than that, my dude. It's in the fucking Bible. The word they is used specifically because in the passage, it's unclear whether the subject is a man or a woman. So the words they and them are used as a singular pronoun instead of he or she. For the record, you can also find it in the friggin' Canterbury Tales written in Middle English, which means the use of they, them as a singular pronoun predates the modern English language. We've been using it since before, we were speaking English. However, for me, what I find most hilarious about this video is Ben raging at the notion that Time Magazine's person of the year is actually two people. He just cannot fathom how person can be people. It's called the person of the year. You may have noticed, right? Person. But apparently, also, person of the year now means people of the year because they didn't just feature Joe Biden on the cover of Time. They featured Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Now, far be it from me to point out Ben Shapiro's utter lack of knowledge about anything to do with journalism. However, let's just take a look at the other times that Time has not just had one singular person of the year. In 1950, it went to the American fighting man for US troops in Korea. In 1956, it was the Hungarian freedom fighters fighting the USSR. In 1960, it was for all US scientists. In 66, it was the inheritor, all Americans under 25. In 1968, it was the Apollo 8 astronauts. 69 was the middle Americans or the silent majority. 1975 was all American women. In 1982, it was literally the computer. In 1988, it was the literal Earth. 93 saw the peacemakers. 2002 was the year of the whistleblowers. 03 was the American soldier, again. 2005 was the Good Samaritans. 2011 was the year of the protester for uprisings all over the world. 2014 was for the Ebola fighters. 2017 was for the silence breakers. And in 2018, and this is probably the most disgusting, I think, uh, the Guardians, those journalists who had paid the price for speaking up against a power and against authority. And Ben considers himself a journalist. It's disgusting. But after all of this, you have to ask, is Ben Shapiro a liar or just lazy and stupid? Well, the rest of the video is 
pretty standard fare for Shapiro. He does start getting into this weird headspace, just writing his own fan fiction of how the media wants Biden to die and is trying to kill Biden off so that they can have a, a go girl Kamala Harris president. It is unhinged. And the media can't wait, man. Joe Biden ought to get a food taster. Every time he's with the media, he ought to have that food taster tasting his food. You, you, you can just see members of the media just sitting in the, there in the room. They got a blow dart in the back. Like, he's like, Ugh! oh, great. Kamala is president now. And th th that's where this is going. They cannot wait. Putting Kamala Harris on the cover of Time Magazine as a person of the year. Oh, man. They're so eager to get rid of this guy. They're so eager. <laughs> did that, uh, did that remind you of anyone? And so I'm up here bashing it because I don't like gay people. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. See, this crap is exactly how I feel about Ben Shapiro. And yet we will never be able to stop talking about him. Because he is the ultimate grifter. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I want to give a shout out to my very first patron, Jackson Orville. Thank you very much. You are a very good boy.